Hello, hello, Tatum here, and welcome back to day 62 of my Reset 66 challenge. Today's workout is a quick superset on the legs. Supersets are two exercises performed back to back with little rest. The superset can consist of opposing muscle groups or non-opposing muscle groups. We will visit both, and the intervals will change with each superset. If you have a sturdy chair stepper, have it ready. If not, no worries. Now click play, follow me, and let's get All to right. it. Welcome to day 62. Thank you for joining me. I'm super excited and a little sad to know that we only have four more days left of this challenge. It has been a ride, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for joining me. Real quick, before we get to this warm-up, I do have a stepper out today, so if you have a chair to step up onto, you can use that. We will be jumping, but you can do broad jumps um, instead, so I will mix that up for you. And I have 15s, 20s, and 30 pounds here. Make sure you have water and a towel. I don't know where you are today, but be sure to comment. Let me know where you're viewing from. I love hearing the different places. Um, it's hot here today, so I need a visor, probably a sun visor, but that's okay. Real quick, I know that you guys just wanna get started. So let's go ahead, as I read these two quotes to you, I want you to go ahead and just start with some forward and back leg swings for me, warming up. So you can be working here, maybe 15 each side, as I read to you this real quick. A client of mine uh, gave me some quotes to pull each day that her boss did for her. It's a really neat thing. I'll probably pass this along to a few people, but I thought these went really well with our workout, so and just, you know, in terms of motivation. So today is work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. That's Conan O'Brien. So work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. So we're hoping for that today. Let's do crossovers here. All right, so we're gonna work really hard here. We're gonna sweat, we're gonna feel good about ourselves, which hopefully just radiates to our friends and family and uh, even strangers, other people in our community. All right, and then always be for always be a first-rate version of yourself instead of a second-rate version of somebody else. Judy Garland. So be yourself. Come in here. When I say modify, find your challenge. It's okay. Challenge. It's okay. You do you. You be yourself because we are all on a different journey. We both. Ha we all have our different uh, issues going on. So it is okay to just do what you need to do and modify. Don't be hard on yourself. All right. That's all I want to say. I was feeling motivational today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some marching in place as well. We need to rev up the heart rate. Heart rate. We're going to do some other little dynamic warm-ups because I do have a starting with jumps today. This is great if you're a runner. I really recommend if you're able to do it to add a little bit of plyometrics into your training regimen just so that you get that push off on the ground and you get a little bit more force and a little bit better speed. So it is important, but um, if you're not there, don't worry about it. Like I said, we'll just come up with something else for you today. All right, nice work. We did a cross the body, we did forward. Let's go knee hugs, really squeeze in. You can walk with these as well. We still have four minutes. I took this warm up a little longer since I knew we are gonna need it for our jumps and because I was gonna talk a lot. <laughs> oh, I apologize. But I do love to talk when I'm in here. It's just the, the energy of working out, I think. It's therapeutic. I tell you, I have people open up to me, cry during workouts, and my clients, I mean, it happens. It releases a lot of stress. So I hope that this one too, uh, does too. This is legs, my favorite. So we're gonna feel sweat, we're gonna feel some heart rate today for sure. But we haven't done this in a while, so I wanted to focus in. All right, I want you to come down and touch those toes. Drop your bottom to the floor. Raise it up, but keep those fingers on your toes. Drop again, this time, arms out in front to stand. Good, here we go, touch those toes again. Drop your bottom, lift your bottom, drop your bottom, arms out in front, stand. Let's do this again. Trying to get a little bit straighter with those legs each time. If you're not there, don't worry about it, don't force it. Don't force it, it will come. There you go, and high, good. And again, down, up, down. Up, <laughs> down, arms out in front to stand. Did I say one more time? Let's go one more, one more. I'm still not feeling it. Just don't feel like I'm in there. Up, down, up. There we go, a little bit better. Down, and here we go. Let's go ahead and scoop. Bring that heel out in front, leg straight. Kind of dorsiflex, bring those toes back towards your shin and just scoop. And let's go ahead and we'll bring our arms all the way up and around. Just kind of open up here. Woo. Gentle again. Don't bring that foot, that leg out too far. 
And don't go too deep here until you start to feel it loosen up. Great job. That's it. A few more. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's go ahead and come down to the floor here. Let's get some glute bridges in as well. And we're gonna march. So first let's do five glute bridge lift. Just turning on the bottom here. Squeeze, lift. Good. Squeeze, lift. Two more. Squeeze, lift. Last one, squeeze and lift. This time we're gonna march. So you're gonna press through one foot, lift, march down, other leg. Up and down, just exchange, just trade off here. Good, it feels like I have my heat on in here. This is just the great outdoors today and I'm loving it, loving it. <laughs> Do I say that enough? Oh, here we go. A couple more marches. Squeeze and then push through. Make sure that heel is down. Squeeze and push. Nice work. Let's come on up. We have about a minute left. We probably should get that heart rate going here, but let's go ahead and tap out first in front, to the side, and back. Then alternate left side, out, back. Good. Right, forward, right side, right back. Left, forward, left side, left back. One more time. Right, forward, side, back, left, forward, side, and back. Let's go into jumping jacks. Warm up a little bit into those calves. We are gonna have box jumps. If you don't have something to jump onto that's safe, you are gonna keep up with your jumping jacks. You're going to do little hops or broad jumps out in front, okay? Here we go, keep going. And then we have lateral jumps. You can use a water bottle or just a line. If you're not jumping, you're just gonna step over back and forth, okay? Modifications, modifications. It's coming up here. Seven seconds. Get ready to go on this jump, this box jump. I'm gonna do a rebound, I'm gonna show you. It's up, down, up, down, up. We may not all be there. Maybe you just jump, step down. Jump, you can even stand, step down, all right? That or broad jumps, and we're moving. Everybody's working now, find something that works for you. Three, two, and one, good. Just 20 seconds. 10 seconds of work, uh, rest. I'm gonna try to use my bottle here. Here's our lateral hop or jump, okay? Up and over, side to side. You can use a line on the floor. You can step and march it up and over if you want. We can take that jumping out. This is the only time we're jumping today, right at the beginning. Three, two, and we're fresh. One, rest, good job. Here we go again. Jump, step down, or do more of a drop to right back up rebound. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one, good job. You can lower, if you have a step or lower it, start very low, work up, get comfortable with that low jump, and then build. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Up and over to the side now. Land soft, land with some bent knees, a little give in those knees, okay? We don't wanna land ugh, real stiff and locked out. Good. And I'm sticking it on each side. <laughs> you could always go. A little bit quicker if you want. All right, nice work. Couple, couple more rounds. Again, on this jump, if you're just getting comfortable jumping, I would suggest getting up and coming to a stand and back down. It's also a little easier on the knees. Here we go. Time to work. Or broad jump. Good. Three, two, and one, good job. All right, here we go. Rocking it out today. <laughs> I love legs. I was a little nervous about today because I'm tired. I saved my run for later <laughs> so I can get through this. Whatever I can do later, I'll do. Whew, that's it. So you might be tired. You're getting a good 
amount of work done on those legs. I would suggest just walking today after this or getting some stretching in. Nice work, I believe we have one more. Woo, it's heating up. Summer is about here, it feels great. Here we go, let's work. Good, so notice the difference here. I'm hopping up, I'm dropping, and I'm trying to get right back up off the floor. So, testing my reaction time. Not great, no. Anyways, it's a little different than just working on jumping and getting off the ground, which is fine. Here we go. Last one. That gives us eight total. This is our first. Now I will say, this is a super set day. That means we're gonna do two exercises back to back with very little rest. This one I gave us 10 seconds because we're working. Woo, time. One minute rest. We're working more of a, kind of the same muscle groups, okay? We got our quads in there. But, uh, we have our quads, we have our gluteus maximus as well, both working together to do these movements. So they're kind of similar, so more of a compound type superset. All right, the superset can cover posing muscle groups or kind of same uh, muscle groups when you're doing two exercises back to back. Now we're gonna go into more opposing, giving ourselves a little bit of a rest from the legs. So it's gonna be leg core, leg core on the next two sets. I hope that makes sense. I had a lovely member tell me that she loves learning and this and that and trying to things I hope I'm teaching. If you don't understand something, I'm gonna to try to put it in the notes and hopefully you're learning something as well. All right, here we go. We have a traveling uh, squat here. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. We want a goblet type hold here. Here we go, we're gonna step out about shoulder width and want a full squat up down. Not like we normally do where we do a halvesy. Shoulder, good, then I want you to come in more of that narrow stance between the hips, okay? Come out shoulder and a little bit wider. Come all the way up, shoulder, we're stepping each time, moving it across here, that's it. And then wide, just make sure on that wide, if you go too wide, those toes should be out. So I'm gonna try to not keep it too far so I don't have to shift my feet too much in this. So just baby steps. But I want you to complete a full squat. So stand all the way up, step in. All right, there you go, rest. Great job. All right, this is our farmer's march. I want you to take two of your heaviest dumbbells and we're gonna march very slowly. All right, here we go. We're gonna lift that knee 90 degrees, find our balance, step it down. And I want those steps to be small. Really, no momentum here. You're gonna feel the tug of the weight as you lift that foot and you find that balance. Squeeze that glute, draw the stomach in. That's what I want you to be focused on. Even if you don't have heavy enough weights to feel like it's really tugging on you here, I still want you to work on squeezing the glute, that outside glute, drawing that stomach in. All right, feeling good core strength, stabilization, and balance. Nice work. We're moving 45 seconds here. Three, two, and one. Great job. Put one weight down. We're back to those traveling squats, stepping it in and out. Here we go. Let's start to the, the, to the right, kind of wide. <laughs> Try to combine those two words. Shoulder and then narrow. Come all the way up. Out wide. I think I went in and out. Either way, shoulder, narrow. We can work it both ways. So we could go wide, shoulder, narrow, shoulder, wide and back in if you want. Back in, all the way, tracing it. There you go. I think I'm gonna go wide, shoulder, stand, narrow, come all the way to standing. Wide, shoulder, narrow, good job. All right, just cause that time is a little slow. So I'm gonna take it wide, shoulder, narrow, wide, step out instead of in out, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Here we go. Farmer's walk, slow and steady. This is not a race. 
Now, I tried to do this in front of a mirror. I could feel myself leaning to one side always. Those first couple steps, you wobble, you kind of lean to offset the weight, either from tightness or weakness. And then you gotta draw in, squeeze. And once you practice, you can feel those muscles coming into play. All right, woo, that's it. Find your balance, lift 90 degrees. I don't want here, I really would like that foot out 90 degrees. Here, see, it's a little bit harder to hold it out there than just kind of bringing it up under, tucking it underneath you. All right, great job. We're doing four sets today. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that, but you're welcome. There you go, here we go. Let's go with this one, wide shoulder, narrow stance, good, wide, come all the way up. We've done these before where we stay low with body weight. Today we have this weight out in front of us, so I want a good, good, full squat out of it. Come to that stand, find your squat, step it out. Good, oh, I did that again, didn't I? You do you, <laughs> whatever flows there, okay? Typically I take it each one, but I'm going wide and just working in instead of out too. That way it's a little bit more equal on each side. Good job, if I was doing reps, I might do it the other way. All right, farmer's walk again, holding on tight. Make sure that chest out, shoulders are down and back. Here we go, shoulders are down and back, chest out, here we go. Lift 90 degrees. Look where my foot is, right here, out here. Hold, like kind of pull those toes up. There you go, hold. My steps have gotten a little bigger. I'm gonna keep them small so I don't add any momentum here. Although we can step out a little bit if that helps you find your balance a little bit more. There you go. Oh, I did not stick that one. 10 seconds, we're getting a good core workout here. We're also getting a good grip workout, which you might always need. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, good job. One more here, one more here. Again, work it out. You can work it out here and in, or <laughs> the other. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, let's go out, let's start left. Wide, shoulder, together. There you go, there you go. Wide, shoulder. Not together necessarily, unless you have really tiny hips and they might be pretty close, but at least a close stance within hip width, a little bit closer than what you're used to. Just changing up the stance a little bit. We always seem to go into our normal um, squat, or, and that's different for everyone. But you want you to experiment with different um, variations here and stances. It's harder. Works across the quad here. I'm really struggling with my words today. That's a rest, good job. I'm already dripping sweat, Whew. All right, one last farmer's walk, okay? Three, two, and one. If you'll notice, we've done a lot of different farmer's walks. Um, there are several variations out there. A lot of them are just walking with heavy weight, just carrying heavy weight, learning to stabilize through the core. It's what we're doing here, but what I like about this march and this knee high here, and I'm sorry, I'm a runner. Traffic, when I think about these things, you know, you spend your time, even if you're walking, you know, you're on that one leg, as you push off, you've gotta be able to stabilize the core when you're pushing, when you're on that one foot for balance, right? So we wanna make sure all that is happening. Three, two, and one, and I hope that got easier for you. Maybe the first couple times, the body is amazing, especially with balance and stability. As soon as you draw in, the body quickly learns to engage there and offer that stability, so it's amazing. I can put somebody on a BOSU, and just after a couple tries, that body starts to get it. It starts to do what it's supposed to do, so practice. All right, 38 seconds, grab a sip of water. We're moving into our next one. Same thing, 45 seconds work, four sets. We're gonna do a floor core crunch with this one, because we're gonna use our lower back, uh, glute hamstring area, so I wanted to make sure we were on our back, just utilizing abs after that. I'm gonna use 
my 30s again. All right, this is a march. A couple things here. You could just do one leg here, kind of that kickstand hinge. All right, barely using any weight. If you're getting used to it, I want you to make sure you can keep a neutral spine and push those hips back first. Otherwise, you're gonna step with me, okay? So three, two, and one, it looks like this. Go ahead and find that offset, little staggered stance, just a little bit. So we push into that front leg, and I'm gonna step forward, and I'm gonna push back again. I'm just taking baby steps again. So I'm putting that weight into that front leg. All right, if this is tough for you, please just drop the weight for now and work form. All right, I wanna be able to bend. You may not go all the way to the floor if you start to curve or tuck. I don't want you to go all the way down. You might just go to mid shin here and hinge pushing back, okay? That's okay. Better to do that than go too far and risk that lower back. All right, there we go. We're gonna go to the floor now for a pullover crunch. So feet are up 90 degrees just to kind of protect that back right now. Curl it, draw the stomach to the floor, arms up overhead, and all we do, all we're doing is pulling over from here with quick crunches. This is 45 seconds. I don't want you just going through the motion here. I don't want you just kind of loose and using momentum. I want you to draw the stomach towards the floor. I want you to exhale as you come up, inhale as you return. I want you to think about uh, bringing the shoulder blades up off the ground, all right? And the whole time you're doing this, you're drawing that stomach down. Now, if you're doing this crunch, you're like, I just cannot get my stomach to draw down. This is too much to think about. Then I want you to lay here, and all I want you to do is hold this position, drawing towards the floor, okay? Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. All right, we have that death march again, or a marching hinge. Three, two, and one. And that offset is not much in my feet. Look where they are, okay? Sorry, I looked at the... <laughs> All right, you're just a little staggered. So my back toe is in the middle of my front foot. It's a small step, pushing those hips back, bending softly into the knees, so we keep a nice, neutral spine, okay? If not, don't go too far. Maybe to your knees, maybe to your shins. Work on form before we add weight. And maybe even before we step, maybe you do a couple on one side and switch sides instead of stepping. But I think you can step as long as you don't use any weight when you're getting that form. Rest, good job. All right, pull over crunch. Remember, four sets. And, I, I, and this is more of the compound type superset. So we're not resting, we're really just kind of going one thing to the next because our legs are resting now, right? So we can get up and work again fairly quickly. Now my last finisher set is going to be, um, sorry, these are super sets that we're doing. <laughs> Oh, these are super sets. Our compound sets are the ones where we're working the same muscle group. That's coming up next. So super sets are opposing. They're the ones that we take little rest in. That's what we're doing right now. Sometimes the oxygen leaves my brain in here as I'm talking and rambling on. Good, there you go. Exhale, draw the stomach down. I found myself get lazy there and let it go, okay? Keep pulling in. All right, here we go. That march again. Three. Two, <laughs> woo, can't tell you how warm it is. It's wonderful, just getting used to it though. If it's hot where you are and it's warming up again, just make sure that you're drinking plenty of water and getting your electrolytes too, that you also have some salt as well. Keep that water in, especially if you're a heavy sweater. Good, step it up, push those hips back, soften those knees. Neutral spine, no tucking of that tailbone. If your upper back rounds a little bit, it's okay. I would rather have it flat, but if it does, as long as that lower back, that lumbar is neutral with its natural arch, you should be good to go. All right, nice work, pull over crunch. Whew. Here we go. Again, draw in first. Hold it there, 
even though you're blowing the air out and inhaling and really come up high. Try to get the shoulder blades off. If that bothers your neck, try thinking about looking up and back just a bit so you're not pulling in here with the chin. That's it. Come on, draw in, draw that stomach towards your spine or the floor. Feel it melt down there. Good. You got it. 10 seconds. Feeling it more with each round, right? I bumped it up into four rounds today. Three, two, and one. Since they're a little bit shorter, you know, having a super size, just two exercises, it, it, we can do a little bit more on these, a little bit more repetitive work. All right, here we go. Small steps. Good. Push that bottom back. Keep those shoulders. You don't want to reach for the floor. You want to bend to get to the floor, okay? And push the hips back. You don't want to round. I don't want your goal to be to reach and do this, okay? Whew. Don't do that. Keep those shoulders down and back. If you don't touch, you don't touch. No biggie. Better to keep that back nice and safe. Oh, good work. Three, two, and one. Rest. Great job. All right, pull over crunch. Here we go. Again, draw in first, draw down. There you go. Get those shoulders up off. If it gets to be too much, keeping your feet up here, bring them down and work here, okay? You do, you modify, find your challenge. You're gonna be the best rate version, is that what it is, of yourself if, our first rate version, if you do you and not just try to conform to what everything I'm doing here if you're not there yet, okay? We have to start from the ground and work up. Otherwise, things are gonna get a little messy later. Whew, that's it, time. Good job, one minute's rest. I think I need a towel today. <laughs> oh, all right. Good job. Let's put that weight away. That might be a little, oh, it just depends. Let me tell you what's up next. So we just did uh, the supersets. Give ourselves some core with some leg to kind of offset and keep moving. This one, just like the beginning where we did kind of the same muscle group work, even though we moved up and forward here in lateral, um, we're gonna do the same thing on this one. So I will give us a little bit of rest at the end of our two, of our two, um, our superset here, which is more of a compound. So what we're gonna do, and I'm talking too much, you're probably like, just work. So step up with that right leg, reverse with that right leg. That's how we're gonna work. Right side 30, left side 30. They were going to an alternating, or no, I'm sorry, a step lateral lunge here, okay? So just follow my lead. I'm gonna start with some 20s here. We'll see how that goes. Right foot up. You can use a chair here or a stepper. Left foot down, right foot behind. I'll talk you through this one. Right up, left down, right behind. You'll notice I'm not putting my left foot up, challenging my balance. It also helps me to remember which foot is coming down. But if you need the balance, bring it up. Just remember that left foot is going to step down right behind. So the foot that goes up is also gonna be the foot that goes behind in that reverse lunge. Give me one more, we're gonna switch sides. Good, other side, here we go. Left foot goes up. Oops, heel needs to be on the stepper or your chair, okay? Make sure it's not hanging off. You wanna be able to push through that heel, reverse. Good, left up, right down, left behind. 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 All right, here we go. Right into our lateral steps. I'm gonna go 15s, no rest. We're gonna work hard here. It's a bit tougher. Good, step it out. Then we're come back the other direction. So two or three, maybe even one, if you want, a couple. I like to kind of stick with one side and then switch back. So one, step, two, 
step and then maybe back. One, step it in, out to the side again. Just moving, I love moving all around the place again. <sighs> Very functional type stuff when you have to step and move with weight. Good, keep working. And back the other way. These are a little bit longer. Three, two, and one. Good job. 30 seconds rest. All right? Because we just worked the same muscle groups. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna go back to both of these back to back. A lot of the same muscles here. Um, quad. Yeah, the quads the gluteus maximus, okay? And then we're, well, we used our calves in the earlier one, okay? So that was good. Here we go. Oh, step up, reverse lunge. Okay, I'm gonna stay with this weight so I don't have to switch out. Step up, reverse, good. Right leg up, left leg down, right behind. Right up, left down, right behind. Good, right up, left down, right behind. Say it to yourself, you've got this. 30 seconds each side. Good, up, and down. Halfway, good, left up, left down. Sorry, left up, right down, left behind. Woo. Left up, right down, left behind. Great job, keep it coming. We're gonna change our next one up. Yes, I have the power to do that. <laughs> Whether you follow my moves is up to you. Here we go, up and down. Good, three, two, and one. Here we go. I'm gonna use one weight this time. Let's stay with one side, come up, okay? One side. That way we have a little bit, you could kind of start on the right side after working. We have a little bit of a break before we rest, and we'll go back to alternating. Good job. Step, come up. This is one way to modify. I'm gonna go back to the alternating lunge, but I wanted to show you a way, whoops, other side, to change it up on yourself, 30-30 here, instead of alternating if that feels better, because a minute's a long time, so maybe you need 30 seconds instead. This gives one side a break while you work the other. And you can do two dumbbells here, even though I chose one. Kind of gives your four, forearms a break too, so just some modifications here to show you. Really entirely up to you. I'm gonna go back to my alternating next time. Good, there you go, rest. But I wanted to give you that, good job. All right. Whew, a little bit of rest. I think I actually just did three sets here. One more here, just three sets because I'm trying to keep the time a little bit similar. So if we took it four, we're gonna be here quite a while. So with our three at a minute, we get about seven minutes on this super set, which is what we were taking on the others. Here we go, right leg up, left leg down, right behind. Good, right up, left down, right behind. You got it. Right up. Left down, right behind. It's one of my favorite combinations. Oh, good, good, big leg stuff here. Good, behind. Up, down, behind. Okay, switch, left foot comes up. Right down, left behind. Left up, right down, left behind. Left up, right down, left behind. I did not show you an alternative to this. You could just do reverse lunge, and I apologize for that, or you could do a forward for the future. If you don't have a stepper or a stair you feel comfortable on, you can just lunge forward and back. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're gonna step, I'm gonna step. Two to the right, step, step, and I'm gonna go back to the other direction. All right, but you can do single. I'll try to tell you when your 30 seconds is up. Pay attention here, so you can just do one side, and you can also take this down to one dumbbell. Three, 
two and one, I want you to switch sides if you stayed on that previous one where we stayed with one side. Good. That's it. Make sure that you try to keep the chest up somewhat. You are going to bend, yes, at quite an angle here with that leg out. But make sure we don't collapse too far down, okay? I want you to try to stay a little bit upright. Good, toes are forward, feet are flat. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, that's a rest. That's our cool down. Fantastic job. Grab a sip of water. All right, I didn't add any kind of cardio today. We had a little bit of a blast at the beginning. If you wanted to try repeating that, you could just be sure that your legs are not too wobbly or sore, that you can actually do that with good form and control. So we started it out a little different working up, but good job here. All right, how off we are going to stretch now. Whew. Let's go ahead and start up with our calves real quick. After jumping in the beginning there, I want you to put that front um, leg forward, right foot back, heel down. And I'm sorry to take up your time with my, with not my quotes, but quotes here at the beginning, but I pulled one yesterday and I pulled that one just before I walked out here. And I thought, oh, I just have to share because it might touch you the same way it has me or it does when I read a quote, a good quote, makes you think a little bit. Put your mind in the right place. Good, switch, left leg back, heel down, press the knee. If you are, I just talked to a client yesterday who does my videos too and came to the gym and having some muscle tightness here and there. Um, please join us on Facebook if you want or send me a comment so we can help you get through, work some of that tightness out because I tell you without work, it's not gonna get any better. It's only gonna get worse and I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> speaking from experience, let's go ahead and bring that right foot over the left. I want you to push your right, your hips right. I want you to slide, slide left. Boy, not enough coffee today. No, not enough sleep. <laughs> there we go, just balance and breathe, balance and breathe. Oh, that feels good. Great job. Let's go to the other side. Cross over, slide down. Those hips are going left now, okay? And I'm sliding right. Oh man, feel that. Good, gently come up out of that. Oh boy. That has me shaky a little bit. Let's come down to a half kneeling pose. This is kind of one of those sneaky ones where, you know, the legs are doing it, feel pretty good. We had some rest in there with the core and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, <laughs> I think they're tired. Might feel like dead weight the next day. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll just go into a little prayer twist. Uh, palms together, push those palms together and twist open. Feel that stretch here by pushing your elbow into the knee and the knee into the elbow. You can get this adductor in here. Oh boy, if you need to, because you need more of a stretch, you can put that uh, palm to the floor and the other arm into the air. And I want you to go the other direction too. I'll turn around so you can see it. Stay with that same leg, elbow outside of the knee. Again, pushing the elbow into the knee, knee into elbow, get a little twist here. So inside thigh stretch, now a little bit into the hip as we push here, our elbow and knee together, getting a nice little twist. You can also put this hand down and the other arm in the air. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> Used to. Back in my college days, I could do that. All right, great job. Let's rock back into that hamstring here. Give it a little stretch. And then forward, deep stretch there and back. Forward, back. Last one, I like to end on five, but I know my time is ticking down here. Good job, let's go ahead. Other side here, palms together. Look up, twist if you want. One palm down, one hand up. 50 seconds here, I'll let you go. Nice, short, quick workout. Hopefully you felt that. You're able to get something from it. Good job. Now, to the outside of that knee, twist and push that 
elbow against the knee, knee against elbow on the outside here. Good job, feel that stretch in the hip. Ooh, one side. <laughs> Again, oh boy, Tatum. Ah, one of these days I'll work it out and you don't have to hear me moan and groan about it. All right, here we go. Let's rock back into that hamstring here. And then go forward nice and deep. Rock back. Ooh, yes, two. There you go. One more after this one. <laughs> there goes my timer, but we're gonna do this last one right here and stretch. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Again, we just have four days. I should have said this at the beginning, maybe I did. Who knows where this time went, but uh, we do have t-shirts up. So if you're looking to support us, and help us keep this YouTube channel going and these workouts, please visit the link um, in our description or in our, con or, yeah, the video description below. It's right there. Go on there. There's several different things. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to celebrating our year mark with you, year anniversary. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.